Hello everybody, my name's Odendris, and welcome back to Sunless Sea. Last time, we ended off here in the Iron Republic, and if we just take a quick look at the map, we'll see we've explored a little bit more last time, including including a number of places we hadn't seen before. So last time we started up here in Pigmode Isle. We'd already done the story bits the time at the end of the episode prior, so we started going off this way, exploring a little bit of the region we hadn't seen before, up here. Remapped Khan's Glory, because we didn't have that yet, before coming back down around to Fathom's King Hold, to continue on with the, the Your Father's Missing Bones mission. Don't worry, that's something we're getting to in a second, but that's a pretty lengthy conversation. So we're going over the rest of the stuff first. So anyways, we keep going down south until we reach the southern, um, southern border. The southern wall of the map. And we find Adam's Way. Which. This was, I don't remember if it was Adam's Way or Port Carnelian. I think it was actually both of them. Where they seem like they could be pretty cool places, but we couldn't continue on with a story for either of them. We know, I, Adam's Way has, like, this, uh, gate mouth opening thing that, like, lets out these, like, I don't know if they're, like, fungal spores or what. But we didn't get to explore that much, because I think for this one we were missing a story? If I remember correctly? I don't remember exactly what type of story. So we kept going. The Crying Heights. This was just, like, some... Islands, no actual port area here, so we just sailed through that, and come up to Port Carnelian, which is, oh yeah, I'm right, Adam's, I did, uh, Adam's Way was the one I was thinking of, Port Carnelian is a, uh, what's the word, a colony of fallen London, but the story by, the story here was, you we only got to do part of it, because you got three choices, and depending on which one you chose to get the port report from, you got a little tiny bit of the story, but nothing major. So, this is like a colony of fallen London. But anyways, we keep going. We bank it back to the corner. So, we just start turning north. This is the Grand Geode, which there's more story bits here that we haven't seen before. This is an interesting place where, like, you only sort of remember your time here, and there's quite a bit mysterious about it that we've just never gotten to see. And we just keep going and stopped up at, here at the Iron Republic. Because, as you'll see, fuel's not doing so good. That's not 100% accurate. We have... If we unpause and let time pass for just a little bit, this will probably go up to, like, here. But that's still not good, because we don't have any extra fuel. So, we were hoping that should have gone up a little bit, but it didn't. If I was to leave port, it might adjust. It's just not adjusting for some reason right now. But anyways, we stop here at the Iron Republic, because I'm fairly certain we can buy fuel here. We'll go through that in a second and continue on with this time's episode. But there is a pretty important thing that happened last time that we have got to go over. And it's right down here. Fulfill, fulfill the Fathom's King's request. Because we got some quest things to do from the Fathom King so that they'll tell us where our father's bones are. Let's go over them. Because there are six things here, and I actually looked up how to complete this. And, ooh, boy. Yeah. There's going to be jump cuts in the next few episodes, because I really would like to get this done before episode 60. Which is what it seems like if I don't put in jump cuts to get these done. But anyways, I'll go in order. The Legends Heart for the Fathom King. The heart of one of the great monsters, Mount Nomad, or the Tree of Ages, perhaps. There's more options. By looking it up on the wiki for this game. This mission will accept the heart of the Tree of Ages or Mount Nomad's heart. 
Both of them come with drawbacks or... Um, both of them come with drawbacks or bonuses, depending on what you pick. But it also... It's... It also will take the heart of the pirate poet. A certain pirate we've made acquainted with in the seas. Or the merciless modest. Who, oh, we haven't seen any story bits for them. But I think we technically have seen them. They're like a special crew member that appears in certain places around the map. And you need like specific criteria. You need to meet spe specific criteria to allow them to come with you. But apparently, you need one of their hearts. Which... Seem... Like, both of those are going to be pretty... Either of those are going to be pretty difficult to get. In Mount Nomad and the Tree of Ages, we've never seen, and I have no idea what islands they're on. So, that's something. Anyways, let's continue on. A miracle of science for the Fathom King. You need... Let's see. You need... Serpentine, Memento Mori, or Defulgent Impeller. Serpentine and Memento Mori... I Well, Memento Mori is like a rare gun. I think you can only get in one place. Defulgent Impeller is like a rare engine. And Serpentine, I think, is an engine... Uh, it's really expensive, but we can buy it. So we can get that one done. We're just going to need a little bit more Echo. It's, you can buy it for 1,200 Echoes. But it seems like that's probably going to be like a 50-50 or something like that. Like it's only a chance to succeed with that one. So we'll keep that in mind, but we can probably get this one done. A Sky for the Fathom King. A Skylight for the Fathom King, rather. We need, let's see, I'm, I'm looking at the page as I read through this, just to, let me read through it a little bit. Where is it on this page? Here it is. We need a sunlight-filled mirror catch box, a mountain shirt, or an element of dawn. I have no idea how to get any of these. Looking at the wiki, apparently the mirror catch box full of sunlight is the easiest and cheapest to get. But we need to go to Khan's Shadow and get some story bit I don't know how to get, and Avernus, which we've never found. Or if we get, like, really, really rich, we can buy Mountain Sherds at Port Carnelian, but that's still way down the line. So, some story bits, we can eventually get this done somehow. I don't know. A willing guess for the Fathom King. Oh, he is another one. He is another one. As if I haven't gone through the hard ones yet. I actually haven't gone through the hard ones yet. We either need the Necreus Survivor or the Bandaged Chef Paramount. The chef is the cook at Vendor Bites who you can get to come with you, but you need to complete his storyline first to bring him to the Fathom King. The Nacreous Survivor is like the like tentacle dude, I think. From we got him right before we died on I think our second captain at Port Cecil. We know it might have been our third captain. No, it was our second captain. I don't remember. But you get him going through some story bits in Port Cecil, and you have to complete all of the like chess match to get him. So, we need to both find Port Cecil, or get the chef, and then complete their storylines to get this done. An Eldest End for the Fathom King. Oh, here's another one. This, this one has two options. We either go through all of this for the curator. You know, that mission up in Venderbite, where we need to collect seven impossible colors and then return? Yeah, we need to complete this, despite the fact that we haven't found a single one of these colors in any of our runs. 
Or we do or our other option is mutually exclusive with the Nacreous uh, Outcast. It's you get it at the end of the Port Cecil chess match thing. So we either get the weird tentacle dude from Port Cecil or we get this to watch the end of immortality or whatever. Which is frustrating. Like all of these are just frustrating. And then there's the eternal fruit thing, which you need a Hesperidean apple or an Uttershroom sporal. This apple is found... Hmm, somewheres. Looking at this, is almost certainly easier, requiring a trip to Irem with a sack of coffee beans and a searing enigma. We have a searing enigma, so we can do that one. But we need coffee beans, which you can apparently buy in Fallen London, just haven't looked hard enough for it. And then we need to find Irem, which I don't know if we've seen before? So... Yeah. And if we do all of that, I've been talking for like eight minutes trying to explain everything we need to do. If we do all of that, we can win the game. Ugh. This is gonna. This is gonna. I think gonna be the last episode where we do actual travel time. Uh, the next few episodes, I think, are just gonna be jump cuts to story bits. Or maybe, like, big things happening. I might even give up on taking the, like, not saving bit. We've been in merciful mode, merciless mode this whole time. Just going with the auto saves it gives. We might be throwing in saves just to get this over with. Because that is ridiculous. That is, like, ridiculous requirements to win. I've been talking a while. Might as well get into things. In public. Um, I need you. Could do that. Compile the port report. You gain two hearts. Hmm, this is a new one, isn't it? The sensations of the Republic are overwhelming. This is a desire for years. That is a hatred for fountains. Here's an emotion that can only be expressed mathematically. Now you're awash with a nostalgia for the hatching of an egg. Write it down, write it all down, perhaps you'll be rid of it. Oh, well, we have seen that before, never mind. We pick up a memory of distant shores and a tale of terrors. Um. Ah, oh, your sailor's time ashore. Tournament of flies. We don't have dice or stygian ivory, so we... Hmm. Interesting. Never that is. Um, we gain a terror, and we gain a fragment, and the shops are open. You sell fuel here, right? Yes. Okay. Good surmises. Uh, if we had nine searing, searing enigma, yeah, that's a no. The fuel is actually cheaper here. One, two, three. Or five. Just buy up to 15. We're not running out. I know we're going to get more in London, but we're going to use it anyways, so might as well. And is that all here? I suppose we can... Might as well allow the Zailer's time ashore. That was a mistake, probably. We lost 50 Echo for to gain Terror. Oh, why did we do that? That was a mistake. Oh, well, that's all there, but at least we have fuel now. And I think we're good to get going. You have gained a secret. That will lower terror by one. Did I say terror? Terror. Ugh. Ugh. 
games hiccuping a little bit. Ah. Uh, game, can you stop? I wasn't sure if there's like another hostile thing out here or if it was actually this ship, so I just started sailing up towards this, towards this ship, not knowing, but apparently it is this, so. Is this like an actual unfinished ship or is that the name? Because that would be an interesting name for a ship. Although we are at the Iron Republic, interesting kind of seems like that's in the description. We're gonna get shot again. Uh, what is this thing doing? I actually can't see it. <laughs> I think we've got it. It could kill us in like four shots, so we have to be careful. One more shot and it's down. I think we've got it at this point. Of course, we're doing this right in a fog bank. There we go. You've destroyed to the unfinished revolutionaries. Fragments of clay litter across the deck. They crunch underfoot like pot, pot sherds. Unfinished men do not surrender. Investigate the hold. What treasures do these villains take? We gain a cache of curiosities, a bolt of fabric. We now have another bolt of spider silk. Nice. And we only got shot once. Anything in the region for the Z-Bat to find? I know we just sent one out, but I figured I'd try again. Visit just some distance to the northeast. Um, we might as well stop to get it on our map. I'm not going to read through all of the Visage story again. We're just going to try and get, like, the port report for it. Unless we take it... Did that? We were getting ready to go into combat, then the ship disappeared that we were about to fight. Okay, then. <laughs> Did... Did that boat teleport? What? <laughs> Port visage. Create a port report. Okay, we can just do that. We'll return here later to do the story bits, I think. Uh, we're here anyways, and we have something awaits us. I'm just going to be skipping through a lot of this. Checking out the customs house. We could use a different mask this time. Choose the locust mask? It looks voracious. Ask the significance of the mask. Locust is for those who seek profit in visage and would carry away as many goods as possible. Bat will end, us with, end with us dead, so we're not going bat. Let's go locust. We might actually get new story bits, so we'll read through it. Hunger for all things. Moon Moth settles the locust mask, locust mask over your head. The eye holes are covered with thin gold film through which valuable objects gleam more brightly. May you find a happy harvest, says Moon Moth. Then, when you have partly turned away, it double knots to ties on its purse, as though you're likely to pick its pockets. Doesn't it know you can see it? We now have a locust locust. Locust mask. Ugh. I'm having difficulty with that one, apparently. Visit the library of parts. Um, a lot of these are going to be the same. Like, this is a place where you, people, like, go to learn about their parts. Okay. Ask about the purpose of this room. Steal the most valuable-looking scroll for later sale. Pick the pockets of the readers. We're trying to play our role. So, the way they're talking, it sounds like Moth's a pickpocket, so, while they are looking, you can be acquiring. Pick the pockets of the readers. 
Ignored. You dip your fingers into a crocodile's purse and acquire a few coppers from a heron. From the way the heron flinches, you know she knows you're there. Apparently, it is the etiquette of the place not to prevent a locust from stealing. Perhaps for the same reason, the coins are no more than tiny copper chips, each stamped with an eye sigil. Practically worthless. Really failed it. Because we'll go back here. Hmm. Can we try that again? Sure, why not? Successful, if not well wealthy. You dip your fingers into a crocodile's purse and acquire a few coppers from a heron. The coins are no more than tiny copper chips, each stamped with an eye sigil. The exchange rate must be thousands of these to the echo. Hardly worth taking home. But you have acted as a locust is meant to act anyhow. There are no squirrels for locusts in the library of parts. <laughs> um... Still the most valuable looking scroll for later use. Sail. It's chancy, but we'll try it. As expected, you are not sneaky enough. Moon Moss sees what you do and confiscates the sack bulging beneath your carapace. He does not, however, seem angry. What else would the locust do but take whatever is available available to be taken? He waits you outside the library with unruffled calm. Oh, that could have been cool. But now we can't do anything else here. I suppose we do the trade masks with the moon moth again. This is going to be the same. So we're in the moth roll again. Visit the house of the chief geometer. Visit the temple of Apis. Visit the side of the face. Um. Visit the house of the chief geometer. It is understood to be an honor. Bring a string of rats. Cobras like to eat rodents, surely. Hmm. This is like the geometer. They're a cobra who runs the island, basically, I think. I'm trying to act our... But we didn't end up doing any of these, because we didn't have candles last time, and that's what the one I wanted to do. Let's try bringing nothing, though. We didn't... I was thinking about trying this one, but didn't last time. Bring nothing. It is impertinent for one of lesser rank to presume to, sh to show charity to a superior. No. You arrive empty-handed. Already piled on his table are the wrappings of other gifts. They reprove you. You have erred. You have no choice to dis depart early. Before someone thinks you have... Thinks to have you remasked in a more embarrassing part. So if we had a candle, that would probably be the correct answer, but we don't ha have one, so never mind. Visit the Temple of Apis? The Wounded God. This is like the bull. Um. Observe and make notes. The customs here may be worth reporting later. You've gained an intriguing snippet. Oh, I say, someone will be interested. Interesting, don't think we've seen one of those before. Let's go to the side of the face. I'm just going through this pretty quickly. This is a lot of stuff we've already seen. Do we get kicked off the island? Um... Meditate on the meaning of face, or offer instruction to the frog that found his way up here. I think we failed this one last time. You tell the frog a partially true story about how this face was carved. The frog replies with an amplified belch and a story it heard about the sphinxes known as the salt lions. It's really a very good frog. Nice. Enter the hollow of the ear. A proud nose. And I think from this point, we've already seen this. Along with the others, this is like the visage ritual. I think we're just going to continue on with it. Just follow the same path as before. I'm not going to read through it again. If you want to see it, it's 
a while back. Gain a bunch of fragments, do nothing. We gain a captivating treasure. And a secret. And then we get to leave. We lost 10 terror. Nice. So that worked out pretty well for us. I probably could have read through some of that again, but I'm just trying to get through already seen stories as quickly as possible at this point. But anyways, we gained a lot of fragments, a captivating treasure so we can get an heirloom back in London, and just some nice stuff all around. I think we're going to try and sink this ship. Is it... Okay, this would be a Pirate Poet class ship. It's gonna get a shot off before we get... Okay, it's dumb. It's dumb. It didn't fire at us. Uh, we're definitely in its firing range now. It's... That's not firing? I have no idea what's to our right. We'll check that out in a second. I don't know if I've seen that uh, island stuff before or whatever. Uh, uh, oh. Bad time to lag a game. We need two more shots on it to take it down. Hopefully avoiding getting shot too many more times ourselves. Oh, uh, we've got it. Investigate the wreckage. A measure of professional assistance. This is a new option. You could just fish her out again. But she said it herself the last time you crossed paths. She'd hate to have to spread the word that you've gone soft. Technically a rescue. A lifeboat? Oh dear no, whatever would people say? The pirate poet, poet glares up at you as the life buoy hits the water, but she grabs it regardless. Your message is received, and her look makes it quite clear that for this, there will be a reckoning. The half-glimpsed smirk as she turns away, though, suggests that it is a challenge she is already looking forward to. Nice. Um... The Aphrox Channel. Is Zebat going to tell me what the island is? Reef of Roses. Isle of Cats is some distance to the south. Uh, there's nothing here at the Reef of Roses. It's just a rose-colored reef. Okay. Uh, supplies are dangerous. Do we continue down to the Isle of Cats at this point? Or do we just turn up north? I wish we, I wish we had more supplies. If we did, I'd go down to the Isle of Cats, but where we don't, hunger is getting pretty dangerous. We're just going to continue on to fall in London. I don't think there's any story bits we're particularly interested in at Isle of Cats right now. We'll return eventually, but for right now, we have more pressing issues. But, is there anything on our way to the Cumaine Canal? If I send out the Z-Bat again, is it just going to pick up the Isle of Cats, or are we far enough away where it'd pick up something else if it found it? No islands within the Z-Bat's range. Um, I don't really have the resources to go up. Or sideways and up, but we can go a little bit diagonal. Go a little, go a little bit this ways before sending out the Z bats. No islands, so we'll just turn up north. Well, we probably make it as far as supplies go. Oh, why is it? Whenever an enemy pops up, the game just like goes super choppy in these last few episodes. 
more so than it did in like the pre in the earlier ones. And we pick up a cask of mushroom wine. Lights go off again. Wah. No new islands. Let's take a quick look at the map. The Isle of Cats is here. Isle of Cats is here. There might be something here, but we were like sending out the Z-Bat like in this region, it just wasn't picking anything up. I suppose there could be one more thing here, but it's not super likely. I don't think there's anything here. There's not really much room left there for an island of any significance. There might be something here, there might be something here, but again, unlikely. There is something in the corner here. There's something like here, here. Hmm. I might, on my own time, <laughs> just start, like mapping everything out, not really doing any story bits, just making sure we know where our stuff is. Anyways, we're good at looking at the map for now. Moody's Lights are approaching Holland, London. It's just going to be a little bit longer. Hmm. What are we going to do after we make it back to Holland, London? Because we're probably still going to have a little bit of time left in the episode. Ugh. Hmm. Reading some of these little things. Really, just nothing important here, really. What to do? What to do? So, we'll go back to Fall in London. Then we'll, like, head straight east and explore that region, I suppose? Is that, like, an enemy ship? Or... Murgatroyd Tramp. Okay, so... It's not hostile to us, so I guess we won't attack it. I don't want to go full pirate. Although we could. It's an option. I wonder if it's a very, uh... Lucrative option. Might be. Might be. Might consider it. Well, I guess supplies were, uh... Mm, more... What's the word? I suppose we were in a better situation with supplies than I thought. We're gonna make it back with two left at this point. Anyways... Swing around... Avoid hitting stuff. Uh, pair is still pretty good. Pull into ports in a second. Uh, I forgot how slow it is to pull into port. Oh, yes! We have smuggled goods in our hold. Declare all controlled goods. Talk your way out of the search. Or set something aside. Um, we have the favor, we're not doing it for anything. We're not using it for anything, not doing what? <laughs> Anyways. We still have to find Mount Palmerston to turn over our smuggled souls. Still don't have anything for you, right? Yeah. We could turn your stuff over to the Alarming Scholar, but we don't... I don't think we're going to do that just yet. We're just using information for a bit of echo. I suppose we could have paid the 200... Poor reports. Shepherd's Isle. Big Moat. We've already read through. Iron Republic we've read through before. 
visage we've read through. We've read through the Fathom King and Geode. Um, Con Shadow. We haven't tried submitting Shepherd's Isles of Fact, mainly because of this. Well, we're gonna try it this time. Oh. Good heavens! Here is your payment. This is quite extraordinary. I must rush this upstairs immediately. One moment. Did we gain. I think this is usually like 10 echo, so we got like 5 times the amount of echo, I think. Otherwise, the rewards were the same. And Port Carnelian. You know, I sometimes wonder whether that place was a good idea. I didn't say that. Dirty Echo, a fuel, a favor. Nice. So we get there. We don't need to hire on more crew right now. Is there a crew recruit to pick up? A cannoneer or a zealer? Might as well just spend the 5 Echo to pick up one crew member, and it takes down the Terror just a little bit. While we're thinking about it... It's Sire Misery Call? Um... Serpentine. Okay. This is one of the... Let's go. Okay. Yeah. This is one of the... What's it called? Um, engines we need for the Fathom King mission. And what I read said that we could buy it here. But I guess that wasn't entirely true. Uh, that's... Frustrating. Mm. So we're gonna have to come up with alternate me methods for that one. Nothing in here. Still would like to upgrade our ship, but we're so far off now. Um, supplies we need to buy up. Ten? We have one cargo space left, so I guess that will do. And I suppose that's all. Can't do much left in one ship in dry dock, actually. I suppose we'll use our favors. Nothing else there. Enough for now. Nothing else in London proper. Lodgings. Time with your family. Read the morning paper. You gain supplies. You. Gain a recent news, and you lost a terror. Visit your study. Hmm. Create a shrine to stone. You know the hymns, the prayers, the traditions. Perhaps you believe, perhaps you don't, but it'll comfort the sailors. So for seven secrets and our captivating treasure, we could create a... We could get a permanent plus seven to hearts. And technically trade this out. And we, and we get something here to trade into that slot. So we would get plus seven... Plus 14 hearts instead of plus 14 mirrors. If we... If we could keep the extra plus seven safe here, I would be fine with it. But the fact that we don't... Anyways. Hmm... We could rest. Visit your study. Let's... Hmm... The plus seven would be nice, but the fact that we would then lose this auxiliary item, and we this auxiliary item would go, not wouldn't do anything for us, is a little frustrating. Do we invest in the worst case scenario?
Hmm. Is this it's ten echo and a captivating treasure? Sure. So now we have an heirloom in case this captain dies. Oops, we still have more to do here. Spend time with your family. Memory of distant shores. We only have one Z story, so we're gonna hold on. Only have one of those. I think we actually need those, so Tail of Far Off Lands. Child's eyes grow around his pennies. They store up their memories as dream fuel. Much later, you find the scene you described as scrawled on a fool's, fool's cap sheet by a childish hand. You've gained five memoirs Z fever. New total, 12. I wonder if it, I think they need to get to like 25, it said, or something like that, before they become a scion. That's good to know. Nothing here in the Roser Market still. Okay. So I think that's all here. Basically, we have filled up our hold. Considering selling off all this stuff, except maybe the skin tlack. Hmm. We keep picking up these. Um, can we sell them? Could sell the mushroom wine. I think we're going to sell off the spider silk. We haven't found a use for it yet, and we just keep picking it up. So... We could also buy human souls if we wanted. Ooh, the coffee beans. We actually need these. Actually, we have a couple things we could use them for. We could also use them for the, this. But... Not sure I'm entirely interested in that story. This seems like a story where we're probably not going to get to see that by the end of the series. At this point, we're kind of just going to try and push through most of those side stories and try to like ignore them for the main story. So, yeah. So we'll buy coffee beans for... And we need it for one of our main stories, so we're going to buy a sack of these anyways. And I think that will do us here. But time-wise, don't really have enough time to get, head out and explore, and we don't have anything more to do here in Fallen London. Is there anything I want to go over wise, story-wise, or are we just calling it here? Hmm. I think we're just gonna call it here then. Let's Final looks over some stuff. We need to pick up more outlandish artifacts for this guy, whatever he's going to give us. I hope he just pays us a lot of money, because we need money for some of the stuff. Um, I suppose we could start doing more deliveries with the Salt Lions. We need to find... We need to go up to Avatar Horizon for that. Pigmotes? Pigmotes. There's not actually much in the way of story there. It's just like nation building at this point. Romance is romance. The child will eventually, if we stay alive long enough, want to join us out at Z. We could do more here eventually. I think we need more long boxes, though. Marches we can return to at some point. And there's a couple places on the bottom that we just need to return to eventually to get more done. But I think a lot of the stuff is just like stories that are like compacted into themselves and don't like spread out anymore. So a lot of this stuff is just done and we don't really have to worry about anymore, but we just can't actually hide it. Like, I don't think there's actually anything else in Visage. We haven't returned, but it doesn't seem like there's much else there. It seems like the story's just finished at this point. But next time, let's pull this up. Next time, eh, I think I'm going to change the format somewhat. I'm just going to be jumping about from place to place, just cutting out all story bits at the next time. Like, I might even bring it in next time up here, like, filled out some of the northern map. Hmm. 
Next time, it might even start out with just me at an island that I know I need to go through for the ends that we want. Because at this point, I don't know. I'm getting some burnout with this game, I think. I kind of just want to reach a final conclusion. And it seems like that's just not going to happen if we keep up like this. So, something has to give. Anyways. But that said, I want to thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed as much as I have. And I hope to catch see you next time. So, without further ado, take care.